One thing that you're definitely not doing is dropping. Is that because it's just not one of your? It's not stylistically something you don't like to do, or? No, I love dropping. Um, just like I haven't really had a situation where I needed to do it yet. Is he morphing Broodlords right there? What a crazy mofo! All right, it's time to DC all my tanks. Get the hell out of dodge. And fall back. And now I'm just gonna switch to like purely uh, bio if I can, because he's making a lot of a lot of stuff that bio would be good against. Um, and he's gonna push me here. I don't know if that's really the best idea. He's gonna lose a lot right here. down the mules, keeping that orbital energy nice and low. Oh man, I had that factory rally all discombobulated. Alright, gotta get my gas going on my gold. Alright, I think I'm good on SCVs for a little while. I can remax real quick now and, and push. And I don't think he has that many infestors out right now. He might be getting another round of brood lords, but we shall see. Gotta say, his plays looking pretty solid this game. Yeah, he's he's, he's been playing. Yeah, he's been playing really well. I agree, hundred percent. Just gonna start making all down, Thors man. right now, man. Seriously. Thors are really good against everything, mass infestor everything. style. <laughs> yeah, they're just good in general for sure. But especially against like ultra infestor style, they just serve so many purposes. Holy lings! It's a lot of lings, man. But you're staying maxed, and your money is just building and building. I'm gonna get up on this ramp. Just hang out here for a little bit, unsiege these tanks, They're blasting all my bio. Keep my upgrades going. Oh, you had a Nidus, huh? Mm, need to save these tanks. Yeah, you gotta keep those alive, man. Those were about to go for free. Like a yard sale for tanks. Alright, I need to get some turrets over here at my fifth. Alright, I'm gonna get my Vikings out of here. Oh my god, never mind. I want to get my Vikings out of there. Oh, you just picked right, up now. two bases, so that's that's gotta be... Yeah, now I'm I'm hanging out for a little bit, that's, that's for sure. Had a pretty much BGG. You're still maxed. Um, does, did he take a goal? I'm wondering. Nope. He's probably reached it. Okay, oh, you know what, dude? Right now. Fuck this bullshit. I'm getting ghosts, man. I need to start getting ghosts way earlier against this style of play. Like, it would make such a big difference. They're, so, they're cheaper now, and they're just so good. Especially, like, I mean, he's going real overboard on the Infestors. Ghosts would be perfect. One of the things that really annoys me when I'm playing against Terran on this map is when they just cut it in half, put a couple uh, planetaries on the pads. Is that something you yeah, ever good, think about doing? Good call. I got plenty of money right now. Why not? I could even afford probably to get the Terran like building armor and range. I'm gonna get a second eBay. Yeah, right now it's just like I need to lock down the map and make sure there's no way for me to lose. Um, 
I should definitely be dropping right now because I can, I can totally afford to, to trade bio. And I think there's a nidus going up. Yeah, there is. There's not much I can do about that. So I have to comment on something that uh, some of you really, really top players seem to seem to share, and that's just the kind of patience you take into this game. You're you're, you're maxed out. Um, you know, if this was me, I'd be like, oh, I'm max. I got to push. It's the only way I could get any farther ahead. But you're still playing it slow. Um. Yep. Just ensuring victory. He just lost a lot with that Nidus. It was yeah. not good for him. And he can't really afford to lose this force right now. Yeah, they are huge. It would drive me crazy uh, using ultras. All right. I'm gonna get some ghosts, man. I'm gonna try like a three racks ghost rush. <laughs> I'm gonna try a ghost timing push. I think it would. It would be pretty good against that Remember style. Remember the, the stuff that was out like in, in GSL Season 1, like ghost drops to kill queens? That, that's coming back, man. It's coming back. Ghosts are so awesome. All right, you so, can use a ghost to kill anything. Uh, let's pretend like you lost that map and that, uh, and that there, we're at MLG. Uh, so you're Terran, your opponent's Zerg. What is your next pick going to be? Uh, what, what's the map that you're going to pick with the, when you need to ensure victory? If I've lost? Mm hmm Probably Zelnaga Caverns. Okay, why is that? It's a great map for TBZ. It's really easy to split in half. The gold is such a crux point on the map. It's like the staging point for pretty much hitting any of the Zerg bases. And if you PF that, get a couple tanks, turrets, bunkers. I mean, it's just a lot for a Zerg to deal with. It's super hard, I feel like. They don't have a lot of room to maneuver on the map and stuff. Cool, cool stuff. Uh, now I gotta ask: It's a two-player map. Is this gonna is this gonna translate into a two racks? Uh, I usually don't two racks on this map. I usually don't two racks at all. But uh, especially, I don't know. Like players like select, and other players always get away with two racksing on this map. Mm -hmm. And whenever I do it, people just roach all in me. And yeah. Fuck rape me because all you have is marines and i don't understand like why when people see if you see a two racks on this map you know they're going to follow it up with a command center and they're going to try and take their natural super early and their natural is so wide open you can literally just make like eight roaches and just deny their natural for like five minutes i'm gonna i'm gonna put that in my little notebook because uh i never i never go roach in response to two racks because i feel like it's just not cost effective Oh man, it would be great. I tell him I'm good to go. All right, so let's go, go, go. Wands, like get me on your show. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I can bring him on. I can bring him on. I would love to bring him on. Please, funny guy. All right. Let's do this. I gotta bring Phoenix on first, though. I promised Phoenix that I'd bring him on, and I, I haven't yet, and I feel bad about it already. This Phoenix is awesome. How good is his uh, English? Not, not very. <laughs> but we had Sella on for the last season, so he, he's he's better than Sella. And Sella's show was great. Yeah, Sella's hilarious, man. Did you get him to sing? <laughs> he didn't do any singing. He was kind of sad because he was getting beat up a little bit by Ingri from VVV. So he's going to MLG, huh? Uh, Sella? The guy I'm playing. Oh, apparently. I don't know. Like I said, so. man, he says random shit all the time. I just try to ignore most of it. I love the guy. He's, he's a champ. He's one of those guys that'll have a conversation with you that'll last 15 minutes while playing against you. 
kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not too big on conversating, unless it's like a good friend, you know? Yeah. If it's somebody you're close with. Oh, I already totally screwed up. Uh, I was going to go Engineering Bay block his yeah. uh, natural, but I was busy talking, and I'm pretty sure I missed the window on that. Maybe not, unless if he's late. Turn on the oh. afterburners. You might make it. What is going on? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> he might have even just pool firsted, to be honest. Which, in either case, I still think it's it's pretty good to get an almost completely built engineering bay up at his natural just for scouting and stuff. I know it bugs me when that eBay's there. Yeah, for sure. It's it's just nice in general, and it'll hold up. As, I mean, you lose like nothing really. How do you feel about the uh, the next bunker nerf that's coming? Oh, what are they doing? Uh, the, the salvage now returns 75%. Oh, whatever, dude. Yeah, I don't care. People would always fucking bitch and complain about that. It's like, dude, that's the least of our fucking... <laughs> that's, like, not the, the biggest asset to Terran. I just think it's funny because, like, Blizzard is so focused on that damn bunker. Every, yeah, yeah, Every for patch. Sure. People just complain about it constantly. Where'd that drone go, man? What the hell? Totally lost track of that drone. Whatever. Right. Man, I want my new keyboard. So I see uh, one rack's gas again. Same, same kind of opening as before. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hellions are definitely awesome on this map because of that big wide open natural that you were talking about. Yeah, they're great. I'm gonna try and. Mm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna open with Hellions. I might be able, I'm gonna try actually something I haven't really had a chance to do yet. Let's see how it works out. Right. I'm gonna try a little uh little blue flame bio ghost timing push. Okay, okay. That would be really good. It's kinda unique. Hellion Marauder's pretty good, Hellion Marine's pretty good. I can only imagine that Hellion Ghost would be better than both of the, the others because ghosts are amazing. If I can catch him right as he's like trying to get those first couple infestors out, I think, yeah, and ghosts aren't bad at all. Just across the board against light units, they're great. Oh, sweet. I always do that, man. All right, I gotta get this first bunker up. He gets really early speedlings, it seems like. I don't know if he really needed to figure out what I was doing just yet. Yeah, I wasn't going to say anything, but that didn't really see much. Yeah, he probably should have waited on that. Alright, we are... We are hanging out now at the natural for a little bit at least. Son of a gun. Now, you, you play a super macro style. Uh, a lot of people would argue that Terran is strongest when they're being aggressive in the early game. How do you feel about that? Uh, I think you can definitely pull... You can definitely play either way. There's no doubt about it. It just depends on your style, but there are certainly Terrans that um, make a living off early timing pushes and stuff. Some of them make pretty healthy livings. Yeah, for sure. I'm talking to you, Marine King. Yeah, that guy likes his Marines. Alright, I need to get a couple more Raxes if I'm going to make this timing push work. I need to be on at least four Raxes. He already sacked his Overlord, too, so he's... He's going to be in the dark on this one, yeah. Yeah. So you're just shooting from the hip with this? You're just making this build up as you go? Oh, I feel like now's yeah. the time to add some, some more barracks. I do that all the time. <laughs> 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 to be honest, that's not one of my, uh, not one of my strengths. Although, I mean, 
I like some of the builds I come up with, and I like I like that the game hasn't been figured out to a point yet where like, you know, builds are changing all the time. I definitely have a general idea of 